We are at home in my kitchen with Jackie Ord, one of my very good, long, long time friends. I keep her as a friend because she just has way too much information on me. <laughs> you know, I always joke about being 19 nowadays. It's scary, right, with the right. Like, pictures and the internet. But it's like, you are my camera and <laughs> <laughs> pictures of me being 9, 10, and 19. Anyways, your company is Jump Up and Go Go. And that's a smoothie right. company. And so you are like the smoothie queen. I love my smoothies, for sure. And definitely, I think that more people are getting interested in the smoothies because it's quick, it's easy, you can incorporate the vitamins and the nutrients that's missing a lot of meals today for kids and, and for families. Do you agree that people know their ingredients a lot better than they did back in the 90s yeah, and the 80s? Yeah, I definitely think they are. I know for myself, when I was younger, did really Who knew? Care. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like, feed me. It's like, why do I have to eat this stuff? But now, the more you learn about it, it's like, wow, you're actually eating foods for specific reasons, too. Yes. So like you have inflammation, well, there's certain foods for that. You have uh, muscle problems, yep. uh, memory problems, insomnia, and, menopause. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's, all those there's a food for, for all of them. Well, let's, let's do this one. You're talking about doing a weight loss smoothie. That's right. This is called the belly flat smoothie. So for Not those belly of us, fat, that's yeah, good. yeah. So those of us that want to have a flat belly, you know, sometimes it's hard right around here. I've never it? had, I, I've never had a flat belly in my twenties. <laughs> well, she always ever. Has. I may have had an okay figure <laughs> in my twenties, but it was never flat. But if this can help me in my forties, then I'm all in. Yes, for okay. sure. So this is how you would start is with the lemons and the lime. Okay, and why do you like lemons and limes in your smoothies? Lemons and lime, you have to have this in your diet if you're doing um, weight loss because it helps flush out the toxins in your body. So definitely incorporate the lemon and lime. I was um, saying once uh, earlier before that I love limes and I love that limes are great. Uh, the kefir limes are great for teenagers or those experiencing um, inflammation in their face. So through pimples, it's right. a great astringent, really great astringent for your face. So great, great for your skin just in general. Good. It's also great for your vision, like lemons and uh, lime. So for me, yeah. I really gotta be eating a lot more lemons. Than Jackie lime. typically would wear. Do you wear contacts now, still? Yep. Okay. I flushed them, my mom flushed them down the toilet once when we were... <laughs> yeah, that's right. 13 so or 14, it was in a glass of water. Back when they super expensive, I'm like, yeah, where's my contact? That didn't go over very well. One of those sleep, sleepovers that weren't planned. It was horrible. Way, so. What's next, Jackie? Okay, so next on the list is cucumber. Okay. So, I have cucumbers right here for you. Again, it's weight loss and cucumber are really low in calories. So you want to have 45 calories yeah, for, so for this half of a cucumber. You can eat lots of cucumbers in your diet and it's great in the smoothie. It has water content, so it's lighter. It helps flush your system as well. So Good. that's great. Cucumbers, I love cucumbers. Me too. What else? And the next on the list would be the ginger. Apple. Gingers, okay. Here you go for your ginger. Now again, ginger, I'm huge on this one. Great for inflammation. Yeah. And you know, inflammation is not just for people who are old. Inflammation is big on younger people. It's what we're putting in our bodies. It's causing right. inflammation throughout our bodies. So ginger's great. I know so many people are complaining of that. And just, if you're eating the right foods, uh, definitely will help. Yes. Uh, the wrong foods is just gonna make it worse. Or you're just getting older. Too. We don't want to talk about that. <laughs> we don't want to talk about that. Okay, what else, Jackie? An apple. Okay, I cut up the apples for you. Right, Ta-da. Thank you. Why do you like apples in your in your so, smoothie? Apples are great. I mean, you have fiber. You they're high in antioxidants. Uh, you know the whole the old saying: an apple a day keeps the doctor away. It's true. But it also you know helps with weight loss. Mm -hmm. So again, it works for your digestive system. Actually, breaks down food in your body. So again, there are now helps. you're a bit allergic to apples, so you I know am. that it does it is somewhat acidic. There's an yes. acid in it that helps you with your digestion. For me, when I was pregnant, I ate an apple every single day for both pregnancies and not one day of being, um, so called morning sickness oh, wow. at all because it actually stabilizes your blood sugar as well. So apples right. are fantastic. What else do you have in there? So next on the list would be adding some ice because there's not a lot of, there's not really any liquid in this. People might be looking and going, oh, it's the liquid. But you're going to be getting it from the apple, you're going to be getting it from the lemon, and it's just going to pull it out. So this is going to be really, and the cucumber for sure. So it's a different kind of a smoothie, but I think it's so refreshing. So the last but not least is the cilantro and the parsley. So that's, that's really a, great. It's a superfood cilantro and parsley. So now they look exactly the same to me, but we, do you know which one's which? Right. So this one is the cilantro. And how much? We're putting in about a half a so, cup of yeah, each? Just about half a cup. Now, parsley or cilantro, uh, vital vitamins, vitamins A and C and B and 12 and K. And I mean, if you're wanting a, a good dose, you don't think of eating parsley, 
It's usually yeah. what they put around fish at the fish market, but putting in a smoothie or cooking with it is extremely yeah. good for you. There's a reason why the Italians eat it too, that's Italian right. parsley. So that's it. That is it. This now, is gonna be our, our belly flat smoothie. Now you are gonna throw in some matcha mia as well. What's in the matcha mia? So matcha mia, this is a great blend. It's already pre-blended, so it comes with maca, it comes with turmeric, it comes with spirulina, E3 Live, uh, mesquite, hemp. So you're getting protein, you're getting a lot of vitamins. You get maca, which is great for stamina. It's also great for weight loss. Matcha and what else is got? great for weight loss. Yep. And maca is very good for stamina. It's good for your sex drive. There's just did so you, many did you benefits. Know that per Peruvian warriors back in the olden days would uh, take maca before they went into battle for war for that stamina. So right. There you go, who knew? It's in the pudding. Okay, so like a tablespoon of that? Yeah. Perfect. Now, with or without uh, the matcha mia, it's a great smoothie. Okay, so here we go. blend it up. I'm excited to try this one. Me too. You'll love it. We're using a Vitamix blender. If I don't have a Vitamix blender, uh, apples just, what, grated or cut down a bit more? Yeah, I would cut it finer, for sure. Anything that's a little bit harder to for your blender, then just cut it smaller. Okay. But by That's blend. very beautiful looking. So if you want more information on Jackie's company, Jump Up and Go Go, definitely go to their website. It's on the bottom of our screen. Our website as well has a recipe. Jackie, this looks like an amazing belly flat. Can't right. see. I'll let you know. Belly flat smoothie. Cheers. Cheers.